Well, it's Fashion Week here in Istanbul, and this is the eighth edition of the event. 36 brands and designers are participating, and the Turkish designer, Bahar Korcan, has been chosen for her collection, Dust. It will be showcased throughout the event, and, of course, we had to send our most fashionable correspondent there. Oliver whitville mircic is joining us now. So, Oliver, just how big is the fashion and textile industry in Turkey, and how much money does it bring into the economy? It is an absolutely vital part of the Turkish economy, accounting for 7% of the gross domestic product. More, almost a million people are hired across the industries of textile and clothing, and they work in 52,000 factories across the country. Now, when it comes to selling the wares abroad, exports account for 26 billion US dollars. That is almost the same as the GDP for Uganda. Now, a lot of designers who are here will be depending on selling their wares abroad, but there's one designer who joins me now called Bashak Jankesh, and she, agree, she thinks that it's more important to have art and creative influence in her designs. Bashak, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Tell us about what it is that you make and how your pieces look. Uh, my pieces are all art wear, wearable art. Uh, we are designing uh, clothes for art dealers, uh, artists and all the people who love to uh, wear colors. And we are selling all these things with a certificate, you know, uh, limited edition versions. That's my whole journey here. <laughs> And how important are fashion events like this and fashion shows like this? I mean, of course, it's very important because uh, people are going to see your brand first in, your, in the fashion weeks and then they are uh, starting to follow you and your style and that's a big PR for us. And so you make these art, wearable art pieces. Where, where do you sell them? Is your biggest market in Turkey? Uh, I, I'm starting from New York and London, first of all, and Kuwait. Uh, most of Kuwait uh, buyers are coming uh, to see my fashion shows because they like my colors and I'm using uh, these kind of prints on silk and they like it to wear it in the Middle East. And also in London I'm selling in Wolf and Badger. Uh, in uh, New York we have a pop-up store in Soho. Um, little by little we are uh, start in, to sell in Turkey but I w wanted to start from abroad. So exports do play a big part and that Middle Eastern yeah. market, what's that like at the moment? Uh, of course it's a very important thing. Um, I mean as long as I grow and I make my brand bigger of course it's gonna be more uh, important for me but right now we are uh, working with a little uh, concept stores. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining Thank us, Bashak. There's going to be plenty more designers that we'll be speaking to throughout the day here on TRT World. You can probably hear behind us, there's a fashion show that's underway. Now, somebody that was similar to Bashak yesterday was an artist called Arzu Kaprol, who used projection mapping. Now, this was quite an interesting show to have a look at when you think that instead of actual clothes, people were using these 3G projectors to show various designs that could be put on. And the people who are organizing this event say that that wearable technology is one of the key things that we will be seeing in the future. Absolutely, Oliver, we'll get your wearables on. Thank you.